So first question, what are just your general thoughts about this temporary three-week CR? Well, I think it's good news. I think it's very important news and welcome news that people are going to be able to receive the pay for these 35 days uh, that they have worked. I think it is important that those who have been furloughed will be going back to work on Monday. Uh, I think it is important to to recognize that this partial government shutdown has ended. But I think we all recognize that it is subject to yet another deadline, that of February 15th. Uh, the president has extended this uh, continuing resolution until that point in time. That requires us to move quickly here in the Congress to address the issues that he has legitimately raised about border security and what we're going to do to ensure that uh, we have strong and secure borders. So there will be a conference moving forward that will address that. And, uh, and, and again, um, there is an imperative there with a tight window. I think most people have been asking the question as to what happens next, what happens if the conference is not successful and the House and the Senate are not able to come to terms and agree on something that the President will sign. My hope and uh, my efforts will be directed to ensuring that we never have a government shutdown again. That not only do we not shut it down after February 15th, but that we not have a government shutdown again. It serves no purpose. There is, there is no win in a government shutdown. And I think we saw very clearly the, the very personal impact to, to families, um, to individuals that work hard and aren't asking for much other than to be compensated for the work that they have done. And so <clears throat> it's important that we not repeat what we have just been through. Uh, so I'm going to be engaged in legislative efforts to, to make sure that we, we end all government shutdowns going forward. Can you walk us through some of those legislative efforts? Sure. There's, there's several um, measures that have um, been introduced. I think I'm a, a co-sponsor on just about everything that has been uh, filed that would help address the pay issues during a shutdown. I have supported the pay our uh, Coast Guard employees, or, or Coast Guard men and women act. I have supported a measure that would pay all uh, accepted personnel during a shutdown so that they would work, um, or if they are furloughed, that they would still be paid during that time. Uh, I have, I've been working with a senator from Hawaii on a measure that would ensure that if there is a shutdown and you're a federal employee, you are not subject to a foreclosure or an eviction. Uh, I have been involved not only this, this Congress, but in previous Congresses, in supporting a measure that would end all government shutdowns going forward. And I think that's the one that we should be focusing on. Not what do we do in the event that there's a shutdown, who gets paid, who doesn't get paid, who's exempted, who's not exempted. Let's just make sure we don't have any government shutdowns going forward. Do you think that this last 35 some days of the shutdown was worth it? Or maybe I'll ask that another way. Was there a silver lining? I don't think a government shutdown at any time for any length of, of, of time uh, is good for any reason. There's just no good reason for a government shutdown. And uh, I, I think if we have learned any lessons from this 35-day shutdown is nobody won. Nobody won in this. The Republicans didn't win. The Democrats didn't win. The president didn't win. Nobody won. And, and who really bore the brunt of all of this were, were not only the federal employees who were furloughed or who were working without pay, who suffered the, the anxiety 